everybody doing this morning. Thank you for anyone that may tune in. Just another day of me going through numbing, injuring, torturing, and not being able to do a thing about it. Going through identity theft and identity changes on me, which I go through on a daily basis and how it is being done to me is through what is called remote narrow monitoring police and military tech nano microchip implants for the central nervous system to destroy a central nervous system also for invasive surveillance OPP is using it illegally and criminally, they are using it for pedophilia, sex slavery trafficking, financial thefts and frauds with inmates, and drug addicts that they pay $300 a day to, and free drugs, plus protection, which protects them. Lennox and Addington Hospital is involved as well aiding in criminally with negligence, covering up, and co-committing with this crime on me. I am a revenge retaliation victim. I have been kidnapped, sex assaulted, medically blacklisted, medical treatment refusals, medical discrimination, lies, time buying, cover-ups, arrest refusals, being surrounded, hands on guns, to prevent anything legal on the police or doctors or Waldridge or Hardy or anybody else involved with this three-year crime on me. I've been kidnapped May 27, 2021, 24 hours after asking for help with what has taken place with this crime on me. The day that they got my blood and my piss and when they found out what they did 24 hours afterwards, they left and left me. That was in an attempt to also get me kept through incompetency bullshit through Shelley Hafner. That was in an attempt to get me kept and shut me up. So I would not be talking about what I'm talking about, showing what I'm showing and proving what I have been proving. My mother also was stalked. Billy Woldridge, the one known as Billy Woldridge, who lives at 149 Center Street, North Napanee, who was also stalking her, using remote neuro monitoring on her as well. From the EMFs, it causes in the radiation, it caused tumors in my mother, causing cancer, and it caused her death, and it was done with intent. Two years ago, December 20th, 2020, it happened. They are guilty of murdering my mother. They're guilty of attempted murder on me with the intent to steal my identity, with the intent to frame me. And with the intent to murder me, and I say that without paranoia, Billy Woldridge, or one known as Billy Woldridge, is a wanted, harbored sex offender, a dangerous inmate. He is a pedophile child stalker as well. When he was not when he was not stalking me and my mother, he was also stalking children every day at Tim Hortons on Dundas Street for the ex-OPP chief or commander for sex slavery trafficking. They're using the r &M. it's called remote neuro monitoring, and they are using it for invasive surveillance, enabling them to use it to spy on your children, using it to spy on adults, using it for invasive sexual purposes as well that they can use 
on your children because it enables them to basically broadcast over them and through them. And this way, they can molest your children and they can get away with it while illegally watching adults and also recording it 24-7. Yes, I have it on me 24-7. They see everything I see. They hear everything I hear. My skull has been split. My skull has been deformed. My brain's been seriously injured. No feeling or stimulation left anymore in my head or my face, especially on the right side, from being broadcasted through by so many different people. This is compliments of XOPP chief back in 2019 at my previous address. He went by in a white Jeep Wrangler and he waved at me and when I waved back a black truck pulled up. The person had black hair. I didn't see their face, but they pointed and shot something at me, and it went into my right ear, and I started having the problems ever since. Then the lies, the time buying, the cover-ups, the medical treatment refusals, lies against me about being suicidal and self-harmer, and none of it is true in any way, shape, or form. Lies against me about long criminal and psychological records and histories, and none of it is true in any way, shape, or form. And done to prevent me from being taken serious and to prevent me from getting help with what is happening to me. This is how they mentally manipulate their victims. This is how they human traffic. This is how they frame their victims, and this is how they are murdering this is how they commit their crimes and get away with them when you can lobotomize your victims through Wi-Fi, cell phone, and computer to cause long-term memory losses while also causing identity theft and changes on a person at the same time. It benefits everybody involved. I hope that was seen. My skull goes flat to round. It's been elongated. It's been shortened. It's been widened. And I'm having RM used on me a lot by Tyler Lake, Jason Van Alstein, Holly Carlisle, Michelle Irish, Also, William Bill Woldridge, 149 Center Street North. And by Blair Hardy, they are drug traffickers, human traffickers, human sex trade slavery traffickers. They're using R&M for financial thefts and frauds as well. They are using it to frame victims illegally. I spoke of police crimes, so I became a victim in this. This is their attempt to try to discredit me, try to get away with this, so I'm not talking about this. They had me falsely arrested and charged to, in an attempt to give me a criminal record, which I did not previously have. And to justify the crimes that they are committing against me. This whole right side of my head or face, I have no feeling on it. Most of the ones that are doing it too is Tyler Lake and Jason Van Alstein. I am 50 years old. Jason Van Alstein's probably about 40, 45. Tyler Lake, he's approximately 30. And I am 50 and they are using this shit on me, deforming me, broadcasting through me, injuring me and getting away with it. They are also using this on my dog between my dog, which happens to be a lab, shepherd, beagle, and border collie mix, born in Kingston, Ontario. And right now he is having R&M used on him between Tyler Lake's dog or Holly Carlisle's dog. And as a result, it has caused him serious deforming. It has caused him serious injuring. 
He grunts like a pug. He sounds like a pug. They are using this like a game. And they think that I am a fucking slave to them. Because they try to mentally manipulate me constantly through this shit. I'm being used as a fucking pawn. In, in hopes that I go crazy, in hopes that I act crazy, in hopes that I possibly commit a crime so everybody involved can unjustifiably, justifiably do what they plan on doing against me. This is not said with any kind of paranoia either. I do not hear voices. There is no schizophrenia. I have no hallucinations. No... <clears throat> no delusions. I don't think that I am somebody that I'm not. <laughs> no multiple personalities. I am one person, but I have many, many living through me here in an attempt w criminally through the R&M in an attempt to mentally fuck me up, <laughs> in an attempt to take me off my consciousness, in an attempt to cause me long-term memory problems through this my right brain has been lobotomized i can't do a thing about it i cannot go to the hospital i cannot go to the doctors the police that are involved and they are very seriously dangerous they need arresting they need charging they also have a justice of the peace here to laugh in people's faces stating that they're high on marijuana being sodomized by the police and hallucinating it while being ripped open, having doctors laugh in my face over it while trying to report it and get help. Another doctor, Dr. Barton, was the one that done that and then turned around and said that he would never do anything for me unless I seen a psychiatrist based on lies against me, compliments to get away with this so I would not be taken serious or they're involved aiding in criminally, negligently doing this to me. I had not been to a hospital or a doctor in approximately seven to ten years prior to any of this. I get clicking in my ears now. I go through deforming on a daily basis. <coughs> While going through my identity changes, like I said, the ones doing this the most are Tyler Lake and Jason Van Alstyne, along with Billy Waldridge of 149 Center Street North. He also frequents a local pub here downtown in Napanee and a local coffee shop as well. He's low income or whatever, and the guy goes to the bank quite a bit because he's getting paid for all of this as well. Drug traffickers, Blair Hardy is the one that's lacing the drugs here and selling it to make it look like it's just another drug addict buying bad drugs and overdosing from it and dying from it. Meanwhile, it's being done with intent just for that purpose to make it look that way. And it's homicide. Isn't that right, Blair Hardy? Perfect crime for you. Along with using the r &M, it's a Pontius Pilot OPP crime. I'm going to show this once again, just to prove about it. And this is what I have being used on me, and it's being used on me, compliments of OPP.
Billy Woldridge, Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake, Jabin Allstein, you're guilty of murdering my mother, stalking and murdering my mother. You're guilty of stalking, injuring, torturing me with the intent to commit identity theft and with the intent to frame and murder and once again said without paranoia this has been going on with me for three years and the injuring the torturing the brain the, the, the body mutilations my left or my right lung is gone my right kidney is gone when I eat my food goes to the right side of my body I've had serious deforming and loss to my skull and face size and shape being burned out of me from inside out from the radiation and EMFs from this shit, especially in the back of my head. So let this be a lesson and a warning to everybody as well. This is how OPP traffic, this is how they frame, this is how they murder, this is how they get away with it. I am the end of my bloodline, so you're guilty of doing this to me, you're guilty of my identity theft, and you're guilty of murder. You're guilty of seriously injuring and torturing me. The OPP, you think you know, they have their doctors, there's Spencer Mills 14716, there is ex-chief or commander, year 2019, there is ex, or there's staff sergeants, year 2019, and year 2021, there is Shannon Cork, there is Robert can fuck, can kill, can get away with it, money, badge, family, town council, Lucas. Sorry, I just heard something. There is also a mental health worker named Stacy. Was Daily Tea Company, now Kingston. Blonde haired woman. There is Shelly Hafner or Huffner. There is Robert Kane. There is Dr. Tatiana V. There's Dr. Tatiana V, who is Stacy's girlfriend. There's Joy Hadley. There's Dr. Barton, Dr. Pritchard, Dr. Waldron, Dr. McGregor, triage nurses Terry, Tanya, and David. There's even the Lennox and Ennington Community General Hospital Administration involved and guilty of causing serious harm and injury to me with the intent to aid and cover up OPP crimes and this crime on me. Wayne Cubby Duck. Sarah Fiddler. There is Paladin Security Guard involved as well. They are very seriously dangerous people. I illegally have prisoner tracking put into me or on me. They know my whereabouts 24-7 illegally. I go by, or the, uh, I, go, I go on a daily basis, get numbed down to be dumbed down and zapped, shocked, and tortured. And there is not a damn thing I can do about it, no matter how much I prove any crime against me. I've even put in, again, for uh, private prosecution done a few weeks ago. And there was no results from that. Haven't heard nothing. So, 
I've tried to call OPP to get badge numbers to do OIPRD. They've obstructed by not wanting to give me badge numbers, making excuses, and I have it on video. So I'm going to wrap this up. And by the way, anybody that knows Tyler Lake or hangs out with Tyler Lake, he recently stole a leather jacket from my brother Kevin. So as a matter of fact, if anybody who has recently been around Tyler Lake and seen him with a leather jacket or in possession of one or trying to sell one, it is stolen. So anybody that buys it, it was, it belonged to somebody that I'm not going to mention, but it was a family member who is now gone. So you're nothing but a fucking thief as well. Also, Tyler and anybody who has bought it or it was given to or around, it is a stolen jacket. <clears throat> Be safe, everybody. Love all, hate none. I am proof identity thefts can and do happen. And the more I this goes on without me not being able to get help, they're going to get away with this because I am being mentally fucked up. Arrest and charging needs to happen. It's not going to be done here in Napanee through OPP because OPP themselves need arresting and charging along with doctors here arresting and charging so somebody from outside needs to come in and arrest Billy Waldridge, Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake, Jason Van Alstein, along with the police involved along with doctors involved if anybody knows any good lawyers I am looking for some send them my way for criminal civil lawsuits. OPP owes me millions and millions and millions of dollars. Lennox and Edison County General Hospital owes me millions and millions and millions of dollars. Mental health for Stacy and Shelly Hafner owe me millions and millions and millions of dollars for their involvement in their crimes and Shelly still has to answer for her involvement in my kidnapping based on her bullshit lies. This is how they commit their crimes, and this is how they are getting away with them. This is how they're getting out of criminal civil lawsuits. This is how they are committing homicides. Families are murdered and missing. It is the police, their inmates, their psychiatric patients that they have and use, their little drug-fed, money-paid co-offenders that they have and use so they can play Pontius Pilots. They're pawns, too, in all of this as well for the police because their um, drug use history and criminal history and records, they are nothing more than pawns as well for them with what has taken place, but it's perfect to use remote neuro monitoring on a victim to mentally fuck them up in an attempt to, you know, change their identity, to change their complete brain, mind, to take their life mentally through burning it out of their fucking skull 24-7 from EMS and radiation, watching me 24-7, even in my sleep, watching me piss, watching me shit. Everything I do is watched and recorded 24-7. As crazy as that may sound, I spoke of police crimes, so as a result, I have been going through this. In one way or another, Blair Hardy, Billy Waldridge, one known as Billy Waldridge, Tyler Lake, Jason Van Alstein, and everybody else involved, you will answer for this crime on me, and you will pay for our attempted murder and the murders you are guilty of, Blair Hardy and... Jason Van Alstein were also involved with 
Jack Clark's death as well. Blair Hardy is guilty of raping a woman that used to live here in Napanee who is now passed from a drug overdose. Blair Hardy laces drugs to commit murder to make it look like, like I said, just another addict getting bad drugs and dying from it. Meanwhile, he's doing it as being done with intent to make it look that way perfect way to commit homicide. They're guilty of animal abuses. They're guilty of animal murders. So if you were poor, homeless, elderly, disabled, watch yourselves, watch your children, watch your parents. If this starts to happen to you there will be nothing that you can do about it, and they know it because they have the hospital doctors, they're all angles covered once they cast their lies against you because of your monetary status or whatever, you're screwed. They know that there is no way to get help with the lies they cast against you, and they know there's no way to get help legally or physically through injuries and damages time has been bought and this will come to a point where it will be turned around on me and everything i have said is 100 100 percent complete truth no matter how much they try to injure my brain to make me forget about anything it's all been 100 percent truth whom how and why revenge retaliation if they can do it to me and get away with it, including murdering my mother and get away with it, completely changing my identity and me mentally and getting away with it, and they're doing it to others as well. I'm being used as a fucking game, as a puppet by these pieces of shit. Anybody who knows Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake, Jason Van Alstein, you see him. They need to be stopped. They need to be in handcuffs and they need to be in prison. This is no fucking joke. Be safe, everybody. I am going to sign off of here. I just want to say be a neighbor, be a friend, help another if you can. Always do it without an agenda. Do it because it needs to be done. Make humans for humans once more. Love all, hate none. Be safe, everyone. One way or another, Blair Hardy, Billy Wolditch, and right now all I'm getting is clicking in my damn ears. I've had no surgeries either. Be safe.